It's not considered suicide if someone else does it for you. God. Golly gee. Hey. What's up? Police officers were called to a crazy suicidal man's house. When they got to the house, they tried to kick down the door, but the man jumped out of a closed window, bounced off an awning, landed on his feet, and started to run. He then got a little distance between him and the cops, and then drew a samurai sword and yelled at the cops to kill him. And he kept lunging at the cops saying, kill me, kill me. It was one crazy suicidal man with a samurai sword versus more than 20 cops with guns drawn. It sounds like this man wasn't so suicidal as much as he just wanted to be a ninja. I mean, he smashed through a closed window, bounced off an awning, landed on his feet and kept running, and then he turned around with a samurai sword, challenging 20 men with guns. Maybe he just wanted to see how good of a ninja he actually was. Cause you know, if he was suicidal, when he jumped out of the window, he pretty much could have just committed suicide there. It's not hard to jump out of a window and aim your head at the ground. Or shit, he had a sword. He could have just jumped out of the window, pointed the sword at his face like this, and then just fell on it. And the sword would have gone right through his face. That would have been suicide. Because seriously, if you're jumping from a window and you want to die, easy solution. Don't land on your fucking feet. Or try to cut your own head off with the sword you have. I'm surprised these cops didn't shoot him. Usually when something like this happens, a cop will be either tasering a guy to death or jumping on the chance to kill him. That seems to be how most of the stories go. I'm surprised one of these 20 cops didn't fire and kill this guy. It's kind of messed up. I mean, cops kill guys that don't want to die, but the ones that do want to die, they're like, no, we only kill people that don't want to die. It sounds like this guy just didn't have the balls to kill himself, though. He just wanted someone else to do it for him. He was like, yes, I want to die, but he probably sat there contemplating it and contemplating it, and then he had to think of a plan of how he could commit suicide without actually having to kill himself. Sorry to tell you, but if you commit suicide with someone else killing you, it's not suicide. He was probably just trying to avoid hell or the consequences of suicide. Because that would really suck if you killed yourself and you're like, yes, now I'm finally rid of this crappy life. And then you wake up in hell and you're like, getting weird shit shoved up your ass as a punishment and being whipped and tied and burned. And I don't think that would be better than whatever life you had here. He probably just wanted to see how many bullets he could deflect. You know, it would have just been like, Kill me! Sing, 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 sing. Sweet. Totally knew I could do it. Sing. Yeah, well, deflect this. Bang! Sing. Okay. So if you wanted to die, but you didn't want to commit suicide, how would you make someone else kill you? Leave a comment or a video response and let me know. Brrr.